In a world where fame and fortune are just a click away, one man has risen above the rest to become an internet sensation. He's a philanthropist, a businessman, and a comedian, all rolled into one. He's Jimmy Donaldson, better known as Mr. Beast. From his humble beginnings as a small-time YouTuber, to one of the most recognizable figures on the internet, Today we will be donating $100,000 to... Mr. Beast's story is one of hard work, creativity, and generosity. Join us as we delve into the life of this internet sensation, and discover the man behind the stunts, the giveaways, and the millions of dollars donated to charity. This is the man behind the millions. Jimmy Donaldson, also known as Mr. Beast, was born on May 7, 1998 in the state of Kansas, he was mainly raised alongside his older brother Charles Donaldson aka CJ, in Greenville, North Carolina. He grew up in a small town and had a passion for video games from a young age. He was raised by his parents. Mr. Beast has said in interviews that he had a normal childhood and grew up playing video games and watching YouTube videos. He has also mentioned that he was a good student in school and had a lot of friends. He was also involved in sports and was a part of the school's soccer team. It was during his childhood that he developed an interest in video games, particularly in Minecraft and Roblox. He used to spend most of his free time playing these games and watching videos of other players playing the same games. He started his YouTube channel in 2012, when he was just 13 years old, under the name Mr. Beast 6000. I haven't done really anything to this world, and this is a mod from the movie Harry Potter. He used to post videos of himself playing video games and doing stunts, and slowly started to gain a following. He was still in school while he was building his channel and had to balance his schoolwork and YouTube videos. His childhood and early life were spent in Greenville, North Carolina, and he still has a close relationship with his family and friends. He has mentioned that he feels grateful for his upbringing and how it has shaped him into who he is today. He graduated from Greenville Christian Academy, a private secondary school in the area. He briefly attended East Carolina University before dropping out. Donaldson's brother is also a YouTuber, who goes by CJ these days, and has more than 4.29 million subscribers as of November 2022. Mr. Beast was diagnosed with Crohn's disease during high school, and has publicly mentioned this but does not talk about it often. Hey guys, this is, um, a new mod I found. Mr. Beast uploaded his first YouTube video in February 2012, at the age of 13, under the handle MrBeast6000, his early content ranged from Let's Plays mainly focused on Minecraft and Call of Duty Black Ops 2, videos estimating the wealth of other YouTubers, videos that offered tips to upcoming YouTube creators, and commentary on YouTube drama. Obviously if it followed the trends of the silver, gold, and diamond play buttons, that means you would receive- He appeared only infrequently in these videos. In July 2013, the subscriber count of his channel, then named that dude, was around 240. Alright, so I went on a bunch of smaller YouTube channels, generally channels with less than 100 subscribers, and I downloaded their intros, and we're about to make fun of them. In 2015 and 2016, Mr. Beast began to gain popularity with his worst intros on YouTube series poking fun at YouTube video introductions. By mid-2016, he had around 30,000 subscribers. In fall 2016, he dropped out of East Carolina University to pursue a full-time career as a YouTuber. His mother did not approve of this and made him move out of the family home. As his channel grew, he hired four childhood friends Chris Tyson, Chandler Hallow, Garrett Ronalds, and Jake Franklin to contribute to his channel. They then contacted numerous YouTubers in order to obtain statistics of their successful videos and predict the platform's recommendation system. Franklin left the crew in 2020, afterwards, Carl Jacobs, previously a cameraman, was promoted to take his place. 1406, 1407, 1408, 1409. In January 2017, Mr. Beast published an almost day-long video of himself counting to 100,000. The stunt took him 40 hours, 
with some parts sped up to keep it under 24 hours. Mr. Beast also gained popularity during this period with stunts, such as attempting to break glass using a hundred megaphones, watching paint dry for an hour, attempting to stay underwater for 24 hours which ended up failing due to health issues, and an unsuccessful attempt to spin a fidget spinner for a day. By 2018, Mr. Beast had given out $1 million through his outlandish stunts, which earned him the title of YouTube's biggest philanthropist. We bought half a row of tickets right behind the field goal at the Super Bowl. So every time a team kicks a field goal on our side, we'll be able to promote PewDiePie in front of 100 million people. During the PewDiePie vs. T-Series rivalry in 2018, a competition to become the most subscribed channel on YouTube, Mr. Beast bought billboards and numerous television and radio advertisements to help PewDiePie gain more subscribers than T-Series. During Super Bowl 53, he bought multiple seats for himself and his team, whose shirts spelled out Sub 2 PewDiePie. Mr. Beast also organized and filmed a real-life battle royale competition in Los Angeles with a prize of $200,000, two games were played, making game earnings of $100,000 for each game, in collaboration with Apex Legends. The event and prize pool were sponsored by Apex Legends publisher Electronic Arts. Mr. Beast was accused of using counterfeit money in his video titled I Opened a Free Bank. He later explained that he used fake money to avoid participant safety concerns and that participants received real checks after the shoot. I invited 32 of the biggest YouTubers I know to this $250,000 rock, paper, scissors tournament. Mr. Beast also created a rock, paper, scissors competition stream that featured 32 influencers and a grand prize of $250,000, which at the time became YouTube's most watched live original event with 662,000 concurrent viewers. The event was ultimately won by Nadeshot. Same year. Mr. Beast hosted another influencer tournament featuring 24 competitors with a grand prize of $300,000. You just got the dub! The tournament was ultimately won by the D'Amelio family, which caused controversy due to claims that they cheated. Next year, Donaldson released the video YouTube Rewind 2020, Thank God It's Over. In Mr. Beast's video, he explains that he had always believed that YouTubers should get more say in Rewind, and with this in mind, he decided to call hundreds of YouTubers. At the end of the video, Mr. Beast gives a shout-out to PewDiePie, citing him and his 2018 Rewind as the inspiration for Mr. Beast's Rewind. A month later, Mr. Beast signed a Facebook and Snapchat content distribution deal with Jellysmack. Same year, Mr. Beast uploaded a recreation of the survival drama streaming television series Squid Game in real life, in which 456 people competed for a $456,000 cash prize, without the violence in the show. The video has more than 325 million views as of December 24, 2022, making it Mr. Beast's most viewed YouTube video and also making it one of the most watched YouTube videos of 2021. A review of the video in Vice stated that it badly misunderstood the anti-capitalist message of Squid Game. This is one million dollars and these are 15 of the biggest creators on YouTube. Same year, Mr. Beast created a third influencer tournament featuring 15 competitors with a grand prize of one million dollars. In January 2022, Forbes ranked Mr. Beast as YouTube's highest earning creator, earning an estimated 54 million dollars in 2021. Forbes also stated that his income in 2021 would have placed him 40th in the 2020 Forbes Celebrity 100, earning as much money as Vin Diesel and Lewis Hamilton did in 2020. Okay, <laughs> let's go, we're so close. Oh my gosh, that was so, I was, wow, we did it. Same year, Mr. Beast surpassed 100 million subscribers on his main channel, making him the fifth channel and the second individual YouTuber to achieve the milestone. Donaldson achieved the Guinness World Record of most subscribers for an individual male on YouTube. Same year, two Mr. Beast outfits and other cosmetic items were added to Fortnite Battle Royale. Epic Games also held a tournament in Fortnite called Mr. Beast's Extreme Survival Challenge, which had a payout prize of $1 million.
MrBeast's videos are known to have elements in order to go viral. By doing so, he gains advertising sales of tens of millions of dollars, as social media's recommendation systems show his videos to more people. Therefore, according to the Detroit News, his videos have elements of internet challenges, guest appearances and reaction videos, three popular video genres online. On YouTube, his videos make use of catchy clickbait titles such as I adopted every dog in a dog shelter, explain the challenges in under half a minute, and keep their length between 10 and 20 minutes. According to Mr. Beast, large monetary prizes are also an important factor in viewer engagement. Therefore, his videos often involve him donating large amounts of money to individuals, with many of these videos being sponsored by various companies through large-scale brand deals that appear as advertisements within his videos. He also sometimes hosts competitions in video games, such as Minecraft, for large prizes, including donating a house in one of his gaming videos. Mr. Beast has been credited with launching a new style of high-cost stunt videos on YouTube, where creators pull off elaborate challenges and large-scale sponsored giveaways. Mr. Beast claimed that he runs his main channel at a loss. Psychologist Tim Kayser analyzed that a Mr. Beast video promoting a product would be about half as expensive as running a television ad, with higher engagement and reception. In June 2020, Mr. Beast, in collaboration with Brooklyn-based art collective MSCHF, released a one-time multiplayer mobile game titled Finger on the App. In the game, players touch their phone screen and the last person to remove their finger from the screen wins $25,000. In the end, four people ended up winning $20,000 each after keeping their finger on the app for over 70 hours. The game was reportedly so successful that a sequel titled Finger on the App 2 was planned to originally launch in December 2020. However, the game was postponed to February and then further delayed to March 2021 due to a flood of downloads, causing the game to crash and requiring the game's developers to upgrade their servers. This time, the game featured a grand prize of $100,000. The winner kept their finger on the phone screen for around 51 hours, the second-place finisher also received a prize of $20,000. Will Hyde, a producer for the Mr. Beast channel, announced in an article with The Wake Weekly that Mr. Beast would launch a virtual restaurant called Mr. Beast Burger. Hyde said his team worked with virtual dining concepts during the development of the restaurant concept. He said that Mr. Beast Burger will sell franchise rights to serve the burgers to restaurants across the US and customers will be able to order the burgers via online delivery services. Mr. Beast also announced that he would bring a Mr. Beast burger shop to the American Dream Mall in East Rutherford, New Jersey, near New York City, to be the location of his first U.S. restaurant. The restaurant opened on September 4, 2022. Our piece of most chocolate and cookies just launched in every single Walmart across America. And to celebrate, I'm going to have Nolan do a taste test to show you guys how good they are. In January 2022, Mr. Beast announced the creation of a new food company called Feastables which launched with its own brand of chocolate bars called Mr. Beast Bars. At launch they offered three flavors of bars, original, almond and quinoa crunch. The launch corresponded with a sweepstakes with over $1 million in prizes, including 10 grand prize winners who would receive a chance to compete for a chocolate factory in a future video. The video featured Gordon Ramsay as a cake judge and a $500,000 cash prize. Same year Feastables announced partnerships with Turtle Beach Corporation and Rockcat to provide prizes for the sweepstakes. Mr. Beast is an investor in the tech startup Backbone, which produces the Backbone One, a controller that makes smartphones appear more similar to Nintendo Switch controllers, and the Backbone app, a content creation and social tools app for its users. He also partnered with Creative Juice Financial Network to introduce Juice Funds, a $2 million investment fund for content creators. He also became a long-term investor and partner of financial technology company Current. The same month, 
Mr. Beast received backlash after fans lost large amounts of money in a cryptocurrency scheme that Mr. Beast had invested in and promoted. On October 25, 2019, Mr. Beast and former NASA engineer and YouTuber Mark Rober organized a collaborative fundraising challenge event on YouTube called Hashtag Team Trees. The goal of this project was to raise $20 million for the Arbor Day Foundation by January 1, 2020, and plant trees no later than December 2022. Every donation goes to the Arbor Day Foundation, which pledges to plant one tree for every dollar donated. Notable YouTubers such as Red and Link, Marshmello, I Justine, Marquez Brownlee, The Slow Mo Guys, Ninja, Simone Geertz, Jacksepticeye, Eye, and Smarter Every Day brought attention to this idea. Trees began to be planted in national parks of the United States. On December 19 of that year, the $20 million goal was surpassed. The project has also received large donations from corporate executives Jack Dorsey. Susan Wojcicki, Elon Musk, and Tobias Lutke. Companies such as Discovery, Verizon, and Plants vs. Zombies have also contributed. As of July 19, 2022, they have received over $23.89 million in donations which equates to 23.89 million trees planted. As of July 19, 2022, they need to plant 4 million more trees to achieve this number. On September 17, 2020, the YouTube channel Beast Philanthropy was created. On the channel's first video, Beast announced the charity and food bank and named Darren, who had appeared in previous videos, as executive director. According to the channel description, 100% of its advertising revenue, brand deals, and merchandise sales are donated to charity. On October 29, 2021, Mr. Beast and Rober organized another collaborative challenge event on YouTube titled Hashtag Team Seas. The goal of this project was to raise $30 million for the Ocean Conservancy and the Ocean Cleanup by January 1, 2022. The $30 million goal would fund the removal of 30 million pounds of plastic and other waste from oceans, rivers, and beaches. Mr. Beast and Rober enlisted thousands of content creators, including Azyland, Dan TDM, Tommy Innit, Linus Tech Tips, Tier Zoo, Liam Miano, The Infographics Show, Hannah Stocking, Their Man and Marquez Brownlee, and partnered with Ben and Two Buddies initiative of 8 million global creators to promote the fundraiser. I'm gonna attempt to collect 30 million pounds of trash from this river all by myself. We just landed in Antarctica and we're gonna survive the next 50 hours here. Opinion polls have shown that Mr. Beast is one of the most well-liked YouTubers on the platform. A 2021 Survey Monkey poll showed that 70% of respondents have a favorable view of him, compared to 12% who had an unfavorable view. During a clubhouse room in 2021, Mr. Beast booted entrepreneur Farak Sarmad after he said he could not pronounce his name, a move that Sarmad later said was racist. Sarmad's claims were questioned and denied by other Clubhouse users who were present at the call who argued against Sarmad's claims, claiming that Mr. Beast removed him along with others to make room for women on the stage to be more inclusive. In a May 2021 New York Times article, Matt Turner, an editor for Mr. Beast, claimed that Mr. Beast berated him almost daily, including calling him a retard. Turner also reported that he was regularly not credited for his work. Reporting by Insider showed that Turner previously posted a video in 2018 explaining his allegations, and in October 2019 released a deleted Twitter thread which stated that he was yelled at, bullied, called mentally retarded and replaceable by Mr. Beast every single day. Nate Anderson quit after working for Mr. Beast for a week in 2018 over what he said were unreasonable demands and called Mr. Beast a perfectionist. After releasing a video describing his experience, Anderson reportedly received death threats from Mr. Beast's fans. Nine other employees who worked for Mr. Beast also stated that while Mr. Beast was sometimes generous, his demeanor would change when cameras were off. They described a difficult work environment while working under him.
Mr. Beast has made an incredible impact on the online community through his philanthropic efforts, large-scale stunts, and ambitious challenges. His channel has become a destination for people looking to watch large-scale stunts and challenges, and he has become a role model for many aspiring creators online. This has been the story of Mr. Beast, a YouTuber and philanthropist who has made an unforgettable impact on the world. Thank you for watching, if you like this documentary, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Have a great day. I love you.